paper 1HR is over and the crucial question is what was missing? In this video, we will go over the main topics that did not appear in paper 1HR together with the sample questions from each topic. You can find these questions together with a collection of questions by topic on our website. You can find the link to the website in the description of the video below. I've divided the topics into five main areas, numbers, graphs, algebra, statistics and probability, and geometry and measures. Let's start with number. No question on compound units, so expect one. Sometimes the formula are given in the question, like in this question. Some other times you need to remember them. If the formula is not given, then the units can guide you. For example, here we are asked to find the density in grams per cubic centimeter. Grams is the unit of mass, cm cubed is the unit of volume, so density is mass over volume. Regarding the upper and lower bounds question in paper on HR, that was extremely simple, so having another one mixed with another topic will not surprise me. Speed is also a compound unit, so a question like this one is possible. And since I mentioned speed, make sure to know how to convert from one unit to another. In paper 1HR, there was an easy question involving rules of indices, but be prepared for another one with algebraic powers like this one. There was no question on inverse percentages in paper 1HR, so expect one in paper 2HR. Paper 1HR had an inverse proportion question. There is a small chance for a direct proportion question in paper 2HR, but that chance is very small. No ratio question in paper 1HR, so a must revise topic for paper 2HR. Another must revised topic is search. This could involve simplifying an expression or rationalizing the denominator, or both, like in this case. Moving on to the graphs topics. Differentiation is a topic that usually appears and it usually does towards the end of the paper, so get ready for a question that either involves gradients or motion of a part. Remember, starting with displacement, you differentiate once to find an expression for the velocity. Differentiating again will give you an expression for the acceleration. The graphs of the three trigonometric functions should be well known. These are sine, cos, and tan. Sine and cos are seen more frequently, but you should be prepared for all three. Now, there was a three mark question regarding transformations in paper 1HR. That was very simple, so combining trigonometric graphs with transformations in paper 2HR will not surprise me. Inequalities on graphs is another question that may appear. I don't recall seeing a complicated question on this topic, and it usually appears in two forms. Either you are given the inequalities and you have to draw the region, or you are given the region and you need to find the inequalities. Solving equations graphically is another topic that was missing from paper 1HR. Doesn't appear that frequently, but you should be prepared just in case. There was no straight line question in 1HR, so get ready for at least one. You could have a simple straightforward question like this one, or a more challenging one. For this chapter, you should be familiar with gradient, parallel lines, perpendicular lines, midpoint, and distance between two points. You should also know the properties of quadrilaterals, like rectangle, rhombus, kite, and so on. Finding the gradient to a curve by drawing a tangent is a question that rarely appears. Will this be the year they decide to bring this back? We'll have to wait and see. But while you wait for paper 2HR, make sure you know how to answer it. Same goes for travel graphs. Extremely rare, but better be ready. Remember, there are two types of travel graphs, distance time and speed time graphs. Before moving on to algebra, I will make a pause and ask you to subscribe to our channel to help us grow and continue posting videos. Let's move on. In paper 1HR, there was a question involving algebraic fractions, but it was a simple one. Be ready for a more challenging one involving quadratic factorization. Changing the subject of a formula is a popular type of question. Create some trouble when a fraction is involved and you need to collect like terms and factorize. Completing the square. Some students like this, some others really hate it. This question from June 2022 was a real nightmare for many students. In paper on HR, there was a no function question. You could be asked to find, for example, a composite function or an inverse of a function. Remember, finding the inverse of a quadratic function involves completing the square or using the quadratic equation, none of which appeared in paper 1HR. Quadratic inequalities could appear in paper 2HR, and this may happen through a word problem like this question. In paper 1HR, there was an arithmetic sequence question, so if another question appears in paper 2HR, I expect this to be easy and straightforward. Paper 1HR had a question on linear and nonlinear simultaneous equations, so getting a question with two linear equations in paper 2HR will not surprise me. Remember, graphically, the solution of two linear equations is the point of intersection between the two lines. Moving on to statistics and probability, 
histograms is a topic I was missing from paper 1HR, so included in your revision. A group frequency table is a must revised topic. It usually appears in one of the two papers, and since it was missing from 1HR, it is a strong candidate for paper 2HR. If they decide to skip the group frequency table question, another type of question like this combined means question will probably take its place. That is, unless they decide to include both. There was a question with sets in paper 1HR, but it did not involve Venn diagrams, so get ready for one. You can also get a word problem with a Venn diagram and three circles. It can even include a conditional probability part. Finally, a tree diagram is also an option, although a bit unlikely since there was a probability question in paper 1HR. If they have a tree diagram question in paper 2HR, my guess would be that it will be a simple question with a tree diagram drawn, and you would have to complete missing probabilities. Finally, geometry and measures. No question in paper 1HR for angles in parallel lines, so learn the rules because sometimes you are asked to give reasons. In paper 1HR, you are asked to find the area of a shape involving sectors. In paper 2HR, you could be asked to find the perimeter of a compound shape. I was really surprised not to see a question involving circle theorems in the first paper, so it is a must revise topic. It's so important that I'm including two questions in our revision handout. Construction is a topic that does not appear very often, and the times it did appear, it was either a perpendicular bisector or an angle bisector. Similar triangle questions are usually straightforward when appearing on their own, very unlikely to include areas and volumes since that was the last question in 1HR, so in the extreme case this topic appears, it should be a simple one. No question with polygons in the first paper, so a must revise topic for paper 2HR. Another must revise topic is trigonometry and more specifically the sine rule, cosine rule and the area of a triangle. All three formulae are given in the formula sheet, but make sure you know how to to use them. Transformations of shapes is another type of question that was missing. Don't forget to take your tracing paper if your school does not provide you with one. Finally, there was no question on vectors in paper 1HR, so expect either a simple one involving addition of vectors and finding the magnitude of a vector, or a tough one involving lambda and nu or any other letter you want to use, like this question here. Mm -hmm.